Today we're going to be talking about the High Point 9 mil carbine. My name's Eric and this is Brunswick Firearms Reviews. Alright, let's go ahead and jump in. So this is how the High Point carbine comes. Um, cardboard box. Pretty simple. Open her up. And this is what she looks like when you open the box. Now this is straight from the factory. So let's jump in and see what we got going on here. As always, we should always check the firearm, even though this just came from the factory. Safety first, always make sure the firearm is unloaded, even if you know or think it's unloaded. So let's go ahead and get her out, keeping the finger off of the trigger. Go ahead and pick that up. So we'll remove the firearm from the plastic and uh, this was on there to keep the uh, sights, protect the sights which is uh, located on top of the Picatinny rail. There is a Picatinny rail on top. Um, there is one on the bottom as well. So pretty cool feature. All right, so let's make sure our firearm is unloaded. Let's go ahead and drop the magazine. Looks like the magazine release is on the left side of the firearm, right here, just behind the trigger guard and trigger. So we'll go ahead and press that, pop her out. She's out and clear there. Let's put that to the side. Now, as you can tell, there is no charging handle installed. So the charger handle will be in the box. You will have to install the charging handle which is really easy to do. It's usually in a little Ziploc baggie like this, which contains the uh, strap. The, the firearm does come with a strap. However, just like the charging handle, you will have to install the swivels for the uh, strap to go on, which look like these. And of course you get two of them. So, but we won't be installing the strap on this video, but it does come with it. Um, so here's your charger handle. Let me put this stuff back up so it's not in the way. Put it back up. Move the box out of the way. So this is what the charger handle looks like. So you got this little item. You got your bolt. The flange, the wide flange goes up top. The bolt drops straight in it, just like that. Now, this will take a 5 and 16 socket. And I know that just because we, we do sell a lot of these firearms. The, the carbines are pretty popular because of the price point. Um, you know, well-built budget rifles, what I would say. Um, I know that the high point sometimes gets some bad names and bad rap, um, mainly on their handguns. But as being in the firearm business for 13 years, I can tell you that we sell a lot of these high point carbines and people tend to love them. They're pretty good guns. All right, so let's go ahead and check. Well, we got it installed, charger handle. Charger handle goes on the left-hand side of the firearm. You can see the little hole right here. It'll go in right there. So we're gonna just place it in there. Of course, I don't have the tool here with me. Uh, again, it is a five and 16 socket, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. Um, just snug it tight so we can check it and make sure that it is not loaded. And of course, before this firearm would be fired, you would essentially want to use a, a, a socket there to tighten that down just a little bit more. Um, so again, let's check her out, open her up, look, touch physically, and she is clear. All right, so let's continue on with this. So the first thing I notice is the um, High Point really did a great job on the uh, finish here. I mean, it's really, really nice, as you can see. I mean, all the way around, I don't really see any flaws in the pattern. Very well. Um, also, one thing that sticks out, the, the, there's a little texture on the body of this thing, uh, in, in, including the, the handle here, the grip. So that really helps out in holding this gun. So I, I do like that little bit of texture on there. It looks like we have our safety is on the left side as well, thumb safety. It is not ambidextrous. It is, it is not able to change it over. So this is a uh, right-hander's gun. Ejections on the right. 
Safety on the left, charger on the left. Thumb release for the magazine, left side. So this is completely set up for a right-handed person. Sight on top, so you see that there? It is adjustable. The front sight is a fixed sight, but the back sight, the rear sight is adjustable. So um, one neat little thing here, I'll turn it over this way so you can see it a little better, is the charging handle, you can see there's a little play, you can probably hear it on the camera. That is purposely designed that way. What it is, is when you pull the charger back, you can press this in to keep the charger, to keep it open. And of course, to release it, you would just pull it back out. There she is. So that's how that is. So it doesn't stay um, open unless you press this down. Again, that is supposed to be loose like that. You can see it. So don't be alarmed uh, when you get it there. Don't try to tighten it down as tight as you can. It'll always have that little slot, that little play. It's designed to be that way. Um, I do like the butt stock. It's got a little recoil. You can see it's spring loaded, which really makes it pretty sweet when you're firing this gun to really absorb some of the recoil. Now, again, this is the nine mil version, so it's not gonna have a lot of recoil to begin with. This gun does have some weight to it. Um, it's, it's not the lightest one, but it's not unbearable. It's not bad. It's, it's, um, you know, it's a really nice, nice built rifle, uh, especially for the money. Like I said earlier, nice little budget gun. The barrel does have a Picatinny rail underneath, as you can see here. And this barrel on these guys, they're 16 and a half inches long, just so you know. Um, this particular model has a threaded barrel. As you can see, it just comes right off. There we go. And of course, you just turn her back on. Screw her all the way down. Hand tight. There she is. Uh, I know in the video here, this looks like a pad. Right here, you can see. It's not a real pad. It's, it's actually just for looks. Um, this is your, of course, your cheap placement, but it is not uh, adjustable. It is not a pad. There's no foam, no rubber, no nothing like that. It is hard plastic, just like the uh, rest of the gun here. Uh, so it uh, just appears to be that way. So when you get it, don't be shocked if you know this is not rubber or foam or padded. But um, yeah, let's check out the uh, trigger. So we're going to do a dry fire here and see what kind of pressure we have. So it has, the trigger pull is very stiff, just so you know. We're going to do it one more time here. So, all right. Very, very short trigger pull. The trigger pull is extremely short, but it, it is a little tough. I still have it remained um, pulled back. I'm going to charge it back up. I just want to see the reset, so I'm going to reset now. Let's see how long that is. So the reset, um, since this trigger pull is really short, it's almost in the very beginning of the trigger pull is where she'll fire. So when you're doing the reset and letting it go back for rapid fire, it must come almost completely all the way back out before the reset happens. It's got to get back to that point. Uh, where she'll fire. Uh, so, not a bad trigger. Like I said, it's a little tough. I, I would say it's probably around eight pounds. It's a pretty stout pull on this one, uh, but it does have a really short trigger pull. So that's pretty good. So yeah, overall, again, as I said before, great budget gun. Did a really nice job. Uh, Definitely a lot of fun to shoot. So um, check them out. You can see more on the uh, BrunswickFirearms.com. You can see the prices and stuff. 
But before we go here, I do want to look back in the box and see what else is in there. So let's set all this to the side. So again, the strap, you must install the swivels, put the strap together on there. So there's that. Again, another safety feature. It does come with a trigger lock. This is how the trigger locks come from High Point. Um, so that's uh, great right there. I do love that it comes with the trigger guard safety. Uh, it does have the manual that comes with it. Let's see. Great little pictures and photos to help you along, especially when you get down to breaking the gun down and cleaning it, um, that sort of stuff. Now, one thing just hit me though, on the site, you can um, adjust left and right. Underneath, so you guys can see, underneath there are some screw holes right here. So if you were to, if you were to loosen those up, you could actually take this and move it left, right. It'll actually twist on the barrel. So you don't have a lot of room there, but you can adjust a little bit there so if it's off. So I just wanted to point that back out. And of course you would tighten the screws back down. All right, and as always, warranty on these things. Um, warranty information is in the back of the manual. So be sure you check that out once you get your firearm and it goes over all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so there we have it. The High Point 9mm carbine.